This is how the WordPress SEO Beast functions. Once you install and upload the plugin, you need to click on the activation screen, activation option here, which will bring you to the activation screen. Just enter your name and email here, click on submit, and you will receive an email telling you about how to activate your plugin. There will be a link inside the email. You just click on that link and it will take you to the activation code screen. You put in the activation code here and click on submit. Now, WordPress SEO Beast will tell you that it has activated successfully once you put in the right current activation key based on your transaction ID. So I just copied and pasted my link, my activation code in here and clicked on submit. And this is what will notify you that WordPress SEO Beast has been activated. The next thing you need to do is go to the mobile options, which is a new add-on in the version 2 and it makes your blog 100% compatible with all these smartphones. Now you have an option to do nothing to your web page, resize the images, or strip the images completely to make the pages load faster. What I usually like to do is strip images and click on update options. Another thing that was lacking in version 1 was the ability to choose if your theme uses H1 for the title. If your team uses H1 for the title tag, you can check this option here. But if it does not use H1 tag as the, uh, t for displaying the title, you will need to manually insert the H1 tag inside your post to make your articles 100% search engine optimized. So you can just check and uncheck this option like so. Now let's go to the add post section. Once you add the post, I've copied and pasted an article just to save time because I wanted it to be a real quick video without wasting your time. So I just copied and pasted an article here. My primary keyword is SEO. You can even get LSI keywords by clicking on LSI here and clicking on get LSI. And it has found 19 LSI keywords. And let's just save draft and take a look at what the SEO Beast suggests us to do the changes that we need to make to our blog post to make it 100% search engine compatible and optimized. Right now it's rating it at 4.2. We make the corrections, we insert H2, H3 tag, keyword in first sentence, use of image in post. We make all these corrections and then we're going to have a much higher ranking. So if you do not have these options here, a lot of people had trouble finding this, you just click on this and this will give you an option to make a text, H2, H3 and stuff. Just select the text anywhere, let's say, since we are doing it for SEO, let's just take this and make it into H2. Okay, so you make all these changes here and link to an internal page, which is really important for higher search engine rankings. The way to do that is, let's say we want to link SEO to an internal page. So what we'll do is www.wordpress.seo-demo and just backslash and add link. So we've just entered an internal link. And now also let's add an, a link to an external page, articles. Let's link it to easy in articles. So here it is, add link. And now we have the internal link and the link to an authority site. And we just continue to make all these changes to the post until it's 100%, 10 out of 10 ratings, okay? So this is how it's gonna look when it's once it is done. Now, I take the title, copy this, and copy it in here, which is the title. Uh, I usually like to use the keyword first in the title in the description and also in the keywords the keyword that you want to rank for this is really good search engine optimization trick so everything is done if you are stuck on 9.5 anytime just take a look at the keyword density it is 2.2 to 3.5 if it's less than 2 it's going to show 9.5 it's more than 3.5 it's going to show 9.5 so if you're stuck on 9.5 then there's a very good possibility that you are messing up the keyword density part. So this is how it looks. Let's take a look at um, the actual page that is going to be there. So if you remember in the settings we selected decorate the keyword with bold, italics and underline. So it's going to do it automatically. Let's see SEO. See it is bolded but here it is not bolded. 
This is done by the word process you based on autopilot. This is a link to Google, as you can see here, a link to Google, and it is italics and underline, italics and underline, bold italics and underline, and this is it. This is the link that we added to the internal page, and it the WordPress SEO modifies only the first four instances of your keyword because I just don't want to go over the top. You just don't want to go over the top and have almost all the keywords that you put in your article to be modified. So this is how the WordPress SEO beast helps you rank higher up in the search engines. It has over 18 factors that you can take a look at and make your blogs 100% search engine optimized. So this is this was a really quick video telling you how to do the stuff with WordPress SEO Beast and get you higher rankings in the search engine results. I hope you like it and enjoy this plugin and make a lot of money with this. Thank you for watching and take care.